iPhone 7 Plus Teardown and Reassemble. Warning, you are performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you will need a plastic triangle opening tool, nylon spudger, SIM card ejection tool, fine tip curve tweezers, precision knife set, professional flathead screwdriver, professional Phillips screwdriver, professional iPhone pendulum screwdriver, professional tri-point screwdriver, Power down your Apple iPhone 7 Plus smartphone. Eject the Nano SIM card tray. Remove the two bottom 3.4 millimeter pentalobe screws located next to the lightning connector. Use the precision knife to create enough space to insert a triangle opening tool. With the opening tool, slice through the intense adhesive and carefully decouple the iPhone 7 Plus display assembly from the rear case. Unlike previous iPhone models, the 7 Plus bizarrely opens to the side. The display assembly is still connected to the iPhone by cables along the middle right side, so don't try to remove it entirely just yet. Remove the following four tri-point screws securing the bracket that covers the battery connector and two of the display cables. These screws are different sizes, so be sure to remember where they go. With the bracket out of the way, spudge up the cables from the logic board. Remove the following three tri-point screws that secure the bracket covering the upper component display cable. Disconnect the cable and free the iPhone 7 Plus display assembly from the phone. Remove the following five Phillips screws, followed by the metal clip they secure in place. Easily extract the stereo enabling speaker. Use the tweezers to help remove the tangled up iPhone 7 Plus front-facing camera cable assembly. It includes the front-facing camera, microphone, proximity sensor, and ambient light sensor. Remove the following four tri-point screws and then the metal bracket. Separating the solid-state iPhone 7 Plus home button is simple. 
with only light adhesive on the cable and no delicate gasket. Remove the falling Phillips screw and then the five tri-point screws. With no adhesive on the iPhone 7 Plus LCD shield plate and the cables nicely managed, simply lift it away from the display assembly. In place of the headphone jack is a barometric vent. Remove the following two Phillips screws and then raise it out of the iPhone 7 Plus rear case. Remove the following three Phillips screws. Detach and free the iPhone 7 Plus haptic engine. This sleek engine uses haptic feedback to simulate the push of a button. Locate the three peel to remove adhesive tabs at the bottom of the 7 Plus battery. Grab the first tab and try to keep the adhesive strip flat and wide. Slowly and gently pull each tab up and away from the iPhone 7 Plus. The strips will stretch to many times the length of the battery. Keep pulling until they come out from between the battery and the rear case. And just like that, out pops the 2900 mAh iPhone 7 Plus battery. Remove the falling Phillips screw and standoff screw. Remove the protective metal cover. With the spudger in hand, disconnect the two 12 megapixel iPhone 7 Plus rear facing cameras and pry them out of the chassis. One camera is wide angle with optical image stabilization and the second allows for optical zoom. Before digging the iPhone 7 Plus logic board out of the rear case, it is necessary to attack a bevy of Phillips and standoff screws. Dispatch of a few connectors and remove portions of the antenna assembly most notably the antenna flex cable, which acts as a bridge between antenna pathways and the top left Wi-Fi antenna.
After taking care of the last three connectors, carefully uproot the iPhone 7 Plus logic board out of the rear case. Remove the following four Phillips screws. Eradicate the iPhone 7 Plus loudspeaker. Remove the following seven Phillips screws. Use the tweezers to separate the microphones from the speaker grills. The iPhone 7 Plus Lightning connector assembly is moderately adhered to the rear case, but with a little sputtering it is readily removed. This everything cable includes the lightning port, an antenna, and two microphones. Remove the following six Phillips screws. The last component to surrender is a cable array that contains the power and volume button switches, quad LED flash, a microphone, and the ring silent switch. The power and volume buttons are nuzzled securely in the rear case, defying conventional removal.
All the replacement parts and repair tools used in this video are available at www.diymobilerepair.com. Make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.